everybody, happy Friday. Disclaimer, don't know what's gonna happen during this video because my kids and dogs are all around. Okay, go play. Um, but this topic keeps coming up uh, in my life and questions that are being asked uh, by different people and I wanted to share about it because I know that many of you are in a similar situation to the struggles that I used to have as a health coach. So for those of you, oh my gosh, Liberty. For those of you who are, um, don't know who I am because I have a lot of new friends on here. I, my background, Liberty, stop it. I am a registered nurse, have my bachelor's in nursing, graduated in 2009 from Point Loma Nazarene University and um, quickly became really fascinated with holistic and integrative health because of my own health issues. A couple years after I graduated, I continued my education at the Institute for Integrative Nutrition and became a certified holistic health coach and really wanted to start coaching people online um, because I lived in Spain at the time. And I just saw a huge need for it because people are, are struggling so much in their health. And if you haven't recognized yet in Western medicine, <laughs> there is not a lot of really great practitioners who understand and can teach and explain health at a foundational level and how everything's connected. In Western medicine, they tend to piecemeal different symptoms and um, areas of our health and, and isolate them, like the, only the digestive system. Get away from the fountain right now, Logan. If you've watched any of my videos, this should be totally normal for you. Um, anyways, so... I am a very inquisitive person, naturally. Logan, come here right now. Right now. Stop it. That's your brother's. You can play with this with Liberty. Okay. Here. So, sorry. Um, I, I started asking questions and nobody could answer. And so I had a lot of digestive issues. Horrible. Digestive issues and hormone imbalances as a very young woman and my late teens and early 20s and no one could tell me why and so I started researching on my own and that's why I know so much about digestive health and the endocrine system now is because of my own struggles and so um, fast forward to when I started trying to have my own business in health coaching sorry Liberty I live in a zoo so there's also that one of the freedoms that I have um, Anyways, I started trying to um, I, tr I started trying to help people, and here is a common struggle among health coaches. I would say coaches of any kind, life coaches, whatever you are. People want the help and they don't want to pay for it until they're really sick. And I used to charge a hundred dollars for a seventy-five minute session, which was very standard for someone with my background and I used to struggle charging them. I had a very hard time, first of all, charging the clients I was working with. A lot of them were cancer patients and people who had a lot of health issues and they would pay me for my time, which, you know, yes, I valued my time or whatever, but then I, that session didn't necessarily make them feel better because then I'm teaching them, okay, so these are the imbalances in your in your health and now you need to go buy X, Y, and Z supplements or th these are the action steps you need to take and uh, pretty much everything required a financial investment and they had already paid me $100. Now granted, if someone's sick enough, they will pay for it anyways, but I just had a hard time, you know? Um, and I know this across the board is something that people in the health and fitness industry struggle with because our heart is in the right place to help people. But, come here bud. Come here. But when money gets involved, things get weird. They just do. And at the same time, we have to provide for our families and we have to pay bills. And so there's this weird dichotomy of really wanting to help people, not wanting to charge people, still wanting to have financial freedom. And it's like, what the heck do I do with that, you know? And um, I, I just can't say enough how thankful I am to be where I'm at because I found the solution. <laughs> the dog is hitting the baby with his tail. Come here. Liam, come here. Come here. Come here. Anyways, and so um, 
not only do I see this problem in here all the time with health coaches who graduate from a health coach institute and get, have all these resources and then they're like, well crap, I'm all on my own. I don't know how to actually make a business and make money off of this. I don't know where to find people. I don't know how to really even help people. I have these resources, but how do I actually help people? And they spend all this time creating programs. And that's what I did. I was like, well, I have to create a program. And, and I did, and um, it was an amazing program called the Empowered Woman Program. It had everything you needed to know about you know, body, mind, soul, wellness but it was too much, like it was too much for people and that didn't work, like that was a flop and, and I was like this just isn't, this just isn't what I thought it would be. So I, I titled this for both health coaches and fitness professionals because in the fitness industry, you have personal trainers, people who go and you get their certification to help people in their fitness, create programs, and maybe you love your job, but what happens when your client is like, I'm not getting results, How do, what do I eat, what do you eat? And then all of a sudden, you can't give nutritional advice. You can give recommendations, maybe, but you're not making, you're not make, oh, pretty. you're not um, certified to do that, and you're not making an income off of it. And so maybe you refer them to a nutritionist. You don't get a referral fee for any of that, right? And then it's like, well, what supplements do you take? And you don't, GNC doesn't give you a cut of whatever you're recommending to them. And so there's this missed opportunity for income and for getting your clients the best results because happy clients produce more clients, right? And then you have better reviews and they stick with you longer. So there's that aspect, but there's also in both of these career pathways, um, there's a freedom issue, to be honest, especially in the fitness industry. You are only making money when you are in the gym. You're only making money when you're teaching a class or when you're in a session and that limits significantly the financial freedom that you can have based on your schedule. What happens when you have a family? What happens when you want to go on vacation? What happens when you want, you know, your freedom in your life and you don't want to work every single day? You don't want to be up for 4 and 5 a.m. classes. You don't make money. And it's a fraction of what you're probably worth, right? And so that leads me to what I'm doing about it. I see a huge potential in these helpers, right? People who have like a servant's heart to really help people make an impact in their life. No matter what area that you went into first. And um, that's where I'm at right now. So I work full time from home. And I am now helping other fitness professionals and helping other graduates of the same, you know, uh, holistic health coaching school that I went to. I'm helping them find financial freedom, helping clients around the world, and do it on their own time, on their own hours, with a program that is, it uses a holistic approach. So not only are my clients getting fantastic results in their fitness, sorry, my dog keeps kicking. Um, but they're also, I have this, these incredible nutritional resources to offer them that I get to coach them through. And everybody gets the same, these same amazing resources that are sustainable. Uh, I will tell you that the majority of nutritional programs that I learned about through my holistic health coaching school, they're not sustainable. They don't work long term. And I am all about lifestyle like modification and living your best life, your fullest life, and sometimes that includes whiskey, and sometimes that includes a glass of wine, and sometimes that includes a brownie, and um, this whole deprivation mentality that many Americans have when it comes to diets and just starving themselves and killing themselves at the gym, that's not enjoyable. So everything we do is sustainable and customizable for the person. And then you have the supplementation aspects, which if you're in this field, you're using. You're using supplements and vitamins because you know that we, our nutrition that we have access to is, it is not as nutrient dense as it was. An apple today is not what it used to be 20, 20 years ago. And that's why we need supplements and vitamins and high quality ones. They're not all created equal. And so, the fact that what I'm able to provide now is all uh, three of those components included 
and that I can train you with my background and what I know about the holistic health and how everything's you know incorporated together and how this approach really helps heal body mind and soul and we have these virtual challenge groups that that is uh, open to our clients around the world that we combine forces with and have a great time and it's so much less work and the financial potential is so much greater because of the business model that is now providing freedom for me to be outside playing fetch with my dog <laughs> while I'm working and watching the boys run around uh, and not be stuck in an office somewhere and not have to be own a brick and mortar business and not have to have all the overhead. My overhead, like my business starting fees to start this business that is now making us between $5,500 and $6,500 a month for me that started as a side gig. Like my, to get started I paid $150. What other entrepreneur out there paid only $150 to start their business that is now three years in has brought us over six figures and providing that kind of, of stable income for your family. Like it, the business model is incredible. And it, the reason why people don't try it is because they don't understand it and they don't know what it is. So tonight I am going to be going over a little bit more details um, on a webinar about what I do as a health and fitness coach and um, how I am, I especially at this point in my life and in my business, I'm really focusing on training the right people to duplicate this system that I figured out because I can't help all the people. And my mission truly is to help as many people as possible. So I need to train more people to help more people. And that's really where I'm at. So if this at all resonates with you or you have a passion to help other people in the health and fitness industry, then I really would love to chat with you. It's going to be a live webinar, Q&A style, I'll go through the basics of what I do. It'll be fun and um, you can ask any questions live. So I hope this was helpful. I hope it kind of made you think a little bit. And really, I, I want everyone, no matter what industry or career you're in, to think, what do I want with my life? One year from now, if I could have anything, what would I want my life to look like? Five years from now, if I could have anything, dream up like my absolute best life to create in, within five years, if I knew I'd be successful, what would I choose? And then ask yourself, will your current path, your current actions, your current career, your current you know, steps you're taking in life, will it get you there? And if not, it's time to change because we don't get another chance. We get one life to live, so why not live it fully? Why not live the life of our dreams? Why not go for it and live fearlessly and take chances and you know make as big of an impact that we can? And that's what I'm all about. That's what I get to live right now, and I'd be selfish if I kept it to myself. So I hope to see some of you tonight. I'll post the webinar event link in the comments, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.